Hey guys, it's Nate here again, and today is day number 223 of quitting alcohol. Today I wanted to talk about acceptance. There's a lot of things we have to accept when we try to quit drinking alcohol. One of which is the fact that we put ourselves in this situation that we're in through our own decisions. Um, I believe for most of us, if not all of us, we are where we are in life whether it's wrapped up in an addiction, whether it's super successful, uh, whether it's not successful, whatever it may be, um, a lot of where you are, if not most of it, is because of your choices in life, right? And you have to accept that. If you've got yourself into a situation where you're addicted to alcohol, uh, that was through your choices. Uh, you chose to pick up that first drink. You chose to continue on. You chose to use alcohol to deal with um, the discomforts in your life that uh, you didn't want to feel or face. And so accept that that's where you are and why you are where you are is through choices, right? So the other thing we have to accept when uh, we try to quit drinking alcohol is accept the process for what it is. Uh, quitting alcohol is a process. It is a journey. Uh, there's no quick fix for quitting alcohol. There's no magic pill. Um, there's not something that uh, you can do or take that's going to make you wake up the next morning and no longer want to drink alcohol. Um, so you have to accept that this process is what it is and it takes time and it has discomfort. Um, and it's no different than the process of um, losing weight or trying to get in shape. There's a certain amount of discomfort that comes along with that. You're going to feel hungry if you create a caloric deficit to lose weight. You're going to feel some discomfort breaking a sweat, uh, training your muscles. Uh, there's just uh, those things that are part of the process that you have to accept if you want to look and feel better. Um, very same thing for quitting alcohol. You're going to have those cravings that are uncomfortable. You're going to have uh, some withdrawal symptoms possibly in the beginning, whether those are mental, uh, spiritual, physical. Um, you're going to have, depending on how long you've drank and how long you've drank, uh, you're going to have different variations of those types of withdrawals. And uh, it just is what it is. Um, you also have to accept that a lot of these things, though, are uh, temporary. They're not long-lasting things. Um, the cravings I have now are far less than they were in the beginning. And you have to accept that it's going to be more challenging in the beginning than it is six months in, than it is a year in. And uh, most of us get hung up on thinking that what we're feeling in the beginning is something that's going to carry on through the entire process. And that becomes so daunting. We get lost in our thoughts about how we can't deal with this forever. And so we go back to the alcohol. If you could accept the fact that, yeah, it does suck for a while. Yeah, it's going to. But it's also going to get better than you ever thought it would be six months in, a year in, two years in, whatever it takes, you know. Um, and it's just like, uh, you know, if I weighed 300 pounds, let's say, and my health was horrible, I was getting winded, just kind of barely moving around, I let myself go, um, and I still enjoy eating my food, right? Because that's what I find comfort in and, and uh, that's how I deal with my life's problems and I keep ballooning because of it. Um, if I quit eating food, start working on myself, it's going to be uncomfortable in the beginning. Um, but the joy that I will have and I will get from being fit, lean, feel good, have excellent health again, uh, restore my confidence, all the other things that are going to come along with losing weight and becoming healthy and feeling good far exceed the little bit of discomfort in the beginning um, that you have to go through to have a lifetime of joy. And we have to accept the fact that 
you know, we've gotten ourselves into this situation, like I mentioned, into this bad habit. And so now we have to create new habits and new routines that are healthful um, to break the cycle of what we've been doing day in and day out by drinking alcohol. Um, you know, when you do something for 20 plus years like I did, it, it does become ingrained in your routine and your habits. And to suddenly stop that and break that uh, is challenging. And so um, it takes time and work to break that cycle and start a new uh, habits, new routines and that type of thing. My, my life today, waking up and going through my day to day is a 180 from where it used to be when I was drinking. And it didn't happen in the first month, the second month, but bit by bit, day by day, some things happen in the first month, some new routines start, uh, some start in the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth month. And the longer that you go and you start developing these things in your life that take the place of your old life, the further and further you distance yourself from your old habits, your old addiction, um, the alcohol and the, the cravings and all the discomfort that um, is quitting alcohol in the beginning begins to fade. And um, but I just it's so important because uh, the, the reason I, I created this channel was to be able to tell you guys as I got along in this process what it's like to be on week one verse uh, seven months in or wherever I'm at now. And, um, you know, <laughs> the only people that really get addiction or really get this alcohol thing are the people that have truly lived it day in, day out, have tried to quit, have failed, have succeeded and not succeeded, uh, were heavy drinkers, wrapped up in it. Um, and, and that's who I was, who I am. I'm the person that was there in your shoes trying to get away from it. Um, and, uh, you know, I hope that, and that was the purpose of this channel, that you'll be able to listen to my story, listen to my experience, because uh, my experience is very similar to a lot of you out there that are trying to quit alcohol that have been drinking for years and years and years. And, um, you know, addiction is, is addiction. It's really not that much different. You know, you've, you've, you've taken this substance, alcohol in our case, and used it for X amount of years to deal with life, to get along. It's been your comfort. It's been your joy in life. You know, I remember when I was drinking that, uh, that was my hobby. My hobby was drinking, uh, as sad as that sounds. And that may be the case for a lot of you guys too. And so um, I wanted to create something that I was really truly looking for when um, I was trying to quit drinking, which was somebody that I could skip forward on, you know, to where are they at in one month, two months, three months, six months, a year, and be able to see how they talk about how things have changed um, as they've gotten into quitting alcohol. And I'm here to tell you guys from my own personal experience now that it does change. It does get easier. Uh, I wish I would have just uh, pulled up my bootstraps uh, years and years ago and um, accepted the fact that it was going to suck for a while and just get through that. Just accept the suckage, man. You know, there's no easier or harder way to say that. It is what it is. Accept the suckage that is quitting alcohol in the first few months. And if you can be man enough or woman enough to get through that, uh, it gets better, you know, and, and uh, you know, quit... Quit looking for that quick fix or that someday or that, uh, you know, magical thing that uh, doesn't exist that you somehow think you're going to stumble upon one day that's going to make you want to quit drinking alcohol. It's just putting in the work and dealing with the suckage for the temporary time that it is. And I can't emphasize that enough. It's just temporary. It's not going to last the rest of your life. It hasn't lasted seven months for me. Uh, what I feel now waking up is is pure, true joy that I didn't experience when I was drinking every single day. So, um, you know, accept it, guys. It is what it is, and, and we need to learn to accept these things. So um, that's it for today. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please give them a like. Subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.